Okay, this is going to be a video talking about the Doxis 3.0 uh, Motorola um, Surfboard 6120. This is the modem, the uh, Doxis 3 modem, the Surfboard 6120, if you will. Uh, I'm not going to make this de too detailed, but all right, here we go. As you can see, here's the size of this thing. It's like uh, five inches by five inches, you know. There, there's that's how wide that is. It's about five inches by five inches uh, wide, uh, big, you know, the dimensions. And then, as you can see, it's like uh, maybe an inch thick. It's very lightweight. Um, try to keep this light on here correctly. Uh, okay, let's talk about the lights here on this side. You got five lights. As you see, the power light, receive light, send light, online, and your link light. Now, your link light, um, the only time it's going to be uh, changing colors is when it's, or excuse me, the only time it's going to be blinking is when it's moving data back and forth through your modem, through the modem. Um, the power light up top. It stays green all the time. Now the receive, send, and online lights, those do turn blue. That's the whole, um, when, when you get to the higher speeds, they turn blue. It's called when, the, when, it's, when it's bonding. Uh, the, the, the lights will turn blue. Um, and that's the whole point of the modem because you can get four channels bonded. Um, for your downloads and your uploads. Okay, now on the uploads and download speeds. Well, here's another look at that from this view right here. It looks really neat, you know, to the tech heads and geek heads. I know all the tech heads um, probably already got this already. You know, they should. Nobody can't really call themselves a techie and they haven't went out and bought this uh, modem yet. It's... Um, it's eighty-five dollars to a hundred dollars. You shouldn't pay no more than a hundred dollars, depending on if you go out to the store and purchase it, or if you uh, just ship it to your front door. You know, which either way you do, eighty-five dollars to uh, one hundred dollars should be the most you could, should pay either way. Um, the speeds. This thing is capable of downloading uh, 150 to 160 megabits per second. Although the, all the cable companies companies across uh, you know the USA, they're not releasing nowhere near those speeds. If you're got this modem and you're doing everything correctly, you've upgraded and everything you should probably see speeds around 30 megabits per second download speeds and that's what I'm saying I'm saying 30 megabits per second download speeds and um, a hundred uh, huh. <laughs> wow and five and a half megabits per second upload speeds okay so you ask why is that important well right now everybody's upload speed it's probably around 2.2 upload speeds. With this baby, your upload speeds will go up to like five and a half or six megs per second uploading. And again, on your downloads, okay, everybody is probably their downloads is probably at uh 15 megabytes per second downloading. The people who are paying extra, they're getting like 20 megabytes per second or 25 megabytes per second uh, downloading. Um, now with this baby, and if you're doing everything correctly, um, you should be getting a minimum of 25 to 30 megabytes per second uh, download. Um, and then once... Once the full Doxis release kicks in by 2010, uh, probably spring of 2010 or summer of 2010, then the, that's when the cable companies are going to go make it public and they're going to announce and they're really going to release the speeds 
I, I, they've already done the upgrades, but they're just waiting to all the cities, all the, and some cities have it already, actually. So anyway, they're going to wait until they're going to announce it, and then it's going to stay is capable of much, much, much more speeds. Um, um, yeah, it's the Doxus 3.0 modem. Um, look it up online. If you're still using a 2.0 modem, which I almost guarantee everybody that's looking at this video is using a 2.0 modem. Um, unless you're a geek head or a tech head, you're using a 2.0 modem. So, I mean, you want to go get this modem. You know, you won't have to buy another modem probably for like five years or ten years. You know, this is the this is gonna unleash some new speeds from your cable company. It's there on the line, but unless you have this 3.0 modem, you will not have access to those speeds. Uh, we didn't talk about this. It's just your basic. Uh, your uh, Ethernet connection coming in, and your um, your connections, your power uh, button, power cord right there, and your Ethernet cable, and your cable connection coming into it. Um, and you know that's how it works. Uh, and again, sorry. Video ain't the most techiest, but it's got it tells you. I'm trying to tell you the basic things about this modem. You know, it's real lightweight, you know, five inches by five inches. And there's your Doxus 3.0. Um, definitely go out and get yourself one, and you know, um, that's it. And again, these lights they do, um, they do go blue. They do turn blue when you are got your channel bonding is active and going right at that time in your downloads. I have downloaded with this thing um, some very large files, probably some 400 or 500 megabyte files. And I've downloaded them in about three or four minutes. It, it downloads large files very, very, very fast compared to the old days. You know, which is old days is still now, but this is the new new direction you want to go. Docs is 3.0, and we're going to make this the end of the video. And there will be some more, uh, well, stand by for some other videos concerning some other stuff. All right, end of video.